Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our garage. Uh, here is uh, where we uh, built our climbing wall and uh, I received a lot of questions about our wall so I decided to make a video to explain the best uh, uh, features that uh, it has. So uh, let's see it together. Let's start with the size of the wall. It is um, 5 meters wide from, from this column to the other to the door of the garage because it's made from a two wooden panel of uh, two and a half meters so it's exactly five meters and uh, the the roof is uh, two meter and uh, eighty centimeters uh, so with the with the hovering the uh, the length of this uh, the panel is uh, three meters and because it's uh, thirty five degrees uh, uh, overhang from here you can see how steep it is. I decided to make um, to make a 35 degrees wall uh, because I think it's a it's a good uh, steep uh, good overhang for doing a circuit. Maybe a bit too much for circuit, but uh, still good to make some boulders. Uh, maybe even 40 degrees would be good, but the the wall on the other side is too close, and with 40 degrees the wall will be too close to the to the opposite wall and would be dangerous to fall and maybe hit the head uh, uh, against this wall and this is the reason why I put these uh, crash pads they, they are domino from uh, Camp Cassin and uh, on this uh, wall because uh, if I fall from the top I can uh, hit uh, my head on the on the bottom of the crash pad and still uh, survive the entrance is uh, from this door. We are lucky that we have uh, this door because the the main door for, um, that was supposed to be to to enter the car is uh, is locked. It opens just a bit. I can show you here. Okay, because he he hits the wall here. It cannot be open totally. This is the maximum aperture. At the bottom of the wall we decided to, to put this uh, uh, kickboard, vertical kick, kickboard, uh, about um, 30 centimeters uh, high to, to use the, the, the full uh, height of the, of the garage, because the, the mattress starts from here, so we can put the, the feet uh, down there. And, and the mats, is, uh, we decided to uh, to buy it, to buy it uh, uh, a new mat because uh, it is uh, very comfortable to have a good mat. Uh, we were um, thinking about uh, using some old mattress from beds, but it would be maybe too dusty and uh, not so comfortable to to walk on. So we we bought this uh, the mattress for uh, for a new, and uh, it's uh, five meters long and the width is uh, two and a half meter like here the height of the mat is uh, around 30 centimeter maybe it could be even uh, thinner because it's uh, maybe too much it's not very tall I never fell like from the very top uh, with my back on this mat and uh, I think it's, uh, it's enough and uh, even uh, 20 centimeter would be okay for this height the holes between uh, between the holes, uh, we place uh, one hole uh, every uh, twelve and a half centimeters. So we have uh, a lot of uh, holes, actually more holes than uh, holes. And but it's okay because uh, we can uh, put uh, or add some uh, other holes uh, here, very small maybe. Uh, but um, we decide to fill up the the wall with uh, a lot of holes. Uh, and um, we decided to not to put uh, a lot of big holes like this one because uh, it takes a lot of space and then the, the only place we, where we can uh, take it is here so all this place is uh, kind of wasted so we prefer some smaller holes or volumes where we can put uh, holes on and uh, uh, here a uh, big help uh, came from uh, my sponsor HRT and uh, Fiction Holes and um, and uh, 300 and the uh, boulder special they are the same brand HRT are this one fiction hall then uh, uh, boulder special is here and uh, they sent me a lot of holes and I'm quite lucky because uh, maybe the most expensive part of the wall would be the the holes 
So let's show how the structure of the wall behind is, uh, is made. We can go from here, around this column. I have to turn on a light, too much. And uh, here is the back of the wall. You can see there are um, uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, wooden beam that uh, are the, the main part of the of the structure of the wall and uh, they are uh, uh, built together with the um, to the to the roof for uh, from this uh, uh, metal uh, inserts and here uh, we decide to to add um, a wooden floor so we can uh, step on and um, set some uh, things here so we I, we use it uh, as a storage uh, we put some uh, holes uh, there are some baggage there and uh, we put uh, the drills here where uh, we used to set uh, and uh, some other things I can show you now I can go over so now I'm behind the wall and uh, we have some holes here some fruit chests and an oil and uh, other volumes that didn't fit on the wall and uh, here we have um, a shelf for the for some baggages and uh, yeah this is the back of the wall where we we were uh, quite precise here we sign every every hole with a um, with a t-nut these are the metal frames that uh, were made from from uh, a friend of us campus board rungs that uh, I want to build a, a campus board but I never actually did I will uh, find some time to, to do it but in some place because the place is kind of over here okay so this is the the entrance door and uh, we decide to add that every climber who came here to climb or just to watch has to, to sign we have uh, some uh, um, some of the strongest climber in the world we have a uh, Alex Megos here, uh, Andy Goulston, Adam Ondra, that signed himself uh, as uh, Adamino Ondra, and then uh, I don't know where is my sign, uh, here my sign, and uh, my father, and uh, a lot of climbers from, uh, my father is not a climber, but a lot of climbers from uh, Arco, from uh, around the world who, who tried the wall or even just came to, to watch it. The wall was built, uh, we built it on uh, uh, November 25 of 2017 and it's called uh, Vertigo Wall because uh, our friends from Vertigo, uh, from near Cuneo, came here to help uh, uh, building it and so we have this sign Vertigo Wall and uh, we, we built it uh, in, a, in a day, we started from the morning and uh, finished in the, in the evening uh, so it was uh, quite a fast work, but we were uh, six people working on it the whole day, so it was uh, fast but uh, very committing. Here there are some uh, uh, training facilities, a uh, hangboard uh, from my trainer and uh, Fabio Palla called also Wilson. We soon is uh, quite a good friend for training, and uh, we have a ladder, and uh, we have a bar here to some to do some uh, pull-ups, and we have some uh, decoration sign, IFSC, and we have uh, one uh, top sign from a World Cup, it's from uh, Wuhan, from China, and some um, Tibetan flags that. Uh, uh, Sarah was the interior designer of the place, I was just a uh, root setter and uh, a lot of uh, spider webs, but uh, we will clean it. To remember the, the circuit we do, we, we start to set something uh, with the numbers, with different uh, colors. For now we have uh, like uh, white tape and uh, grey, purple, red uh, and some other uh, colors and we have also red tape and here behind we have we have a lot of tapes that we didn't use it uh, already we have a power supply from this side too and uh, some climbing shoes there flip flops and uh, 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 a spider, a friend of us spider is climbing with us 
And yes, in uh, these days we are using it uh, a lot because we are home, uh, so we are quite lucky we have this uh, climbing wall. And I don't know what, uh, what else to, to say. If you... Ah, I have a question for you. Can you guess how many holes are in the, in the wall? I didn't count it yet, but I think it's a quite in, in interesting uh, question to, to answer. Um, try to, to guess how many holes we have, uh, including the uh, volumes and uh, everything on the wall so and uh, write here in the comments it will be a uh, fun games or uh, boring for me because i need to count uh, every hole but quite fun for you